Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So, so many people that become aware of intermittent fasting and get into it want to know when do the effects start to kick in from intermittent fasting. And as I've mentioned in many other videos before on this channel and intermittent fasting, the longer that you intermittent fast, the greater the benefits you're going to get from intermittent fasting that have been proven that you can get through scientific research. So I have some actual proof here as shown in this graph in a scientific study that was done on fasting. And I found this through Dr. Ted Nimmon, which is a very big promoter of intermittent fasting and calisthenics and other various things I talk about on this channel. So we're gonna go through this graph together and then I'm gonna explain it to you fully. So as you can see, there's all these different colored lines. And first off, we're gonna start off with the blood glucose level. So as you can see, this is the zero hour mark. And as you start to get into a deeper fasted state where you're fasting for longer, it starts to go down and it goes here and then it flat to lines for a bit. And then around the 12 hour mark, the blood glucose levels start to significantly drop. And then as you can see, all these other ones start to change as well. So the next one we're gonna go on to is glycogen, which is stored glucose that is mostly within the liver. So as you can see at naught hours in, it's quite high. And then as the fast length goes on, it starts to significantly drop consistently. And again, as you can see around the 12 hour mark is when it is at its lowest that it can possibly be. So that is also why you're getting the blood glucose levels drop around the 12 hour window. And then you have this blue line, which is glucagon, which glucagon is your fat burning hormone. What it does is mobilize fats within the body and then starts to allow your body to burn it as a fuel source. And as we know, this is one of the reasons why intermittent fasting gives you amazing weight loss benefits. So as you can see here, it is lower at the naught hour window, and then it starts to slowly creep up, flat lines for a bit, and then starts significantly going up again around the 12 hour window with fasting, which is really, really good. And then if you go to the orange line, which is insulin, it's quite high here, and then it starts to drop flat lines for a while, and then drop significantly again around the 12 hour window, which insulin, is a fat storage hormone. So as it's going down, that is also stopping your body from storing anything as fat on the body. And these go hand in hand with each other, glucagon and insulin. As insulin goes down, glucagon production will always go up. So this is a really good thing if you wanna get the greatest weight loss benefits from intermittent fasting. And then you have the black dotted line, which is free fatty acids, which is fatty acids stored on your body as excess body fat. So as you can see here, it's very, very low and your body's not burning any free fatty acids or whatsoever. And yet again, this is mobilizing the fatty acids so then your body can actually use those fats as a fuel source and then you can actually start to reduce your body fat percentage. And then in, after around an hour to two hours, it starts to creep up, goes flat for a while, and then around the 11 hour window, it significantly, as you can see, rises very, very rapidly. And then it goes down around the 14 hour window and drops down, but it doesn't go very, very low. It's still burning a lot of free fatty acids, which is really, really good, even into the 24 hour window of fasting and then last but not least is the blood ketones levels which starts out relatively low and then it starts to slowly creep up and up and up and up and up and around the 13 to 14 hour window it starts to significantly rise and continue to rise even 24 hours in so as you can see most of the magic is happening around 12 hours into fasting because a lot of people ask me what is the minimum amount they can fast to get the benefits a lot of people say can i do 10 11 12 hours well no not really you don't even want to be stopping around the 12 hour window because the benefits start to significantly increase with all of these different things in a very positive way or decrease because obviously you want the blood glucose to go down and glucagon to go down, but you want the free fatty acids to go up and blood ketones levels and the glucagon production to go up. 
So yeah, this is why I recommend that most people at least do a minimum of 16 hours to get the greatest benefits from it. Whether you're just trying to optimize your health or maximize muscle growth or just improve your body fat percentage and help you burn a lot of fat or whatever benefits you're looking to get from it. But if you're someone that wants to get the greatest benefits from intermittent fasting, as you can see through this graph, it would be better to fast longer than 16 hours, which I have talked about so many times on this channel about one meal a day. So if you're someone that wants to get the greatest weight loss benefits, one meal a day would be the best for you. And if you're someone that wants to get some other benefits from it, then maybe it's not weight loss benefits, such as just improving your overall hormone production within the body, then fasting longer would be a better thing to do as well. So if you're someone that doesn't know how to do the 16-8 intermittent fasting diet, and method, as some people call it. I put a link for a video up above where I talk about that in full depth and I have a complete guide so you can learn how you can do that and not make any mistakes because a lot of people do it and they think they get the full benefits from it when they're not because they're doing certain things to break them out of the fastest state. And if you're someone that is interested in one meal a day, I do have a video that's called How to Eat One Meal a Day where I talk about all the things that you need to do and not do to get the full benefits of one meal a day and make it work in a way that is safe for you but also very effective. So if you're someone that wants to check out Ted Newman, I will put a link down below for his Twitter and I'll also put a link for this specific Twitter post that he's put. He puts a lot of very valuable information on his Twitter in relation to intermittent fasting and other various things that can help you reach your body goals and your health goals and other various goals that you may have. So yeah, if you like the video, like it down below, give us a thumbs up. If you don't, give us a thumbs down, I don't mind. And please share this video with anyone else that you think may want to learn about when intermittent fasting starts to give you the benefits and also starts to give you the greatest, highest benefits that you can possibly get from daily intermittent fasting. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos from me on specific topics such as intermittent fasting, one meal a day, calisthenics, weight loss, eating a plant-based diet, calisthenics, workout and progression videos, what I eat and do in a day videos, and all different types of videos to share with you so much valuable, effective information that could help you go in the direction of gaining and maintaining the body desire, the fitness levels, and the energy levels as well. Like I have managed to, many other people that I've helped and coached around the world, and all the people that have just followed the information that I share in these YouTube videos that I make on this channel. So if those type of videos sound good to you, make sure you click the subscribe button down below, and you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button. Otherwise, YouTube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded. And I have new ones coming almost every single day. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic, and go and get those gains. Peace.